This is the bit that I love, buying all the knickknacks, because it's the attention to detail that makes all the difference. Hello, Hello Nikki. How are you? Nice right. to see you. Do you sell these things? Not the lanterns, yeah, that, the bits that hang off it? Just the tassels? Yes. You can get them. Lee's involved at all levels of the design, right down to choosing the uniforms. Turquoise. Is that fuchsia pink? Yeah, it's a nice colour, I like it. Size 8, 1. Size 10 is 3. Size 12 is 3. So I'm going to do 28. Cool. I'm trying to find reasonably cheap reproduction blue and white china teacups. I mean, it'd be nice to have these as well. Could you do me a deal with these as well, maybe? If I got bought, like, maybe 40 teacups and saucers and 40, 40 mugs. Assorted mugs. Yeah. Right. So that's a nice colour. That's a good colour. like that. It'd be a bit much getting to wear the hats as well. What do you think of my hat? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I do love it. Look at this one. No, the other one suits you more. Do you think the other one suits me better? Yeah? You don't like this one? Have you got any more of these? Okay. Another three could be great. Have you got any bigger ones as well? They're these big as they come. Yeah. Love them. So we'll have one, two, three. Wicked. That one. Yeah, we'll have one of each of them. That's great. Yeah, I like that one. That's lovely. And that's it, isn't it? How much do you, my darling? 766. Okay, wonderful. Oh! Oh! Wicked. Wicked. Lee has to leave the salon to do a client cut. Top international DJ Anne Savage is waiting for him at her Brighton Hotel. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Right. I'm Trey. Welcome to my boudoir. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice Lovely, to meet you. isn't it? That's what we so did today. Yeah, I'll tell you how it is. Right, my hair originally this was shaved, and then can you see this was kind mm, of nutter. yeah. I'm quite enjoying how it's grown out because fundamentally, you know, I'm a girly. Trying to work out what to do here. Hmm. And we want to keep it long, we just felt there was too much hair here, so it's more about evolving the shape rather than revolutionising it. Quality. <laughs> so you're a DJ girl? I am a DJ indeed, yeah. And what are you doing in Brighton at the uh, moment? I'm actually, well I'm a DJ but I'm also a producer, so I've hooked up with this guy who lives yeah. in Brighton called Tim Healy and uh, he makes some of the coolest house music around. And we just sort of, over a couple of bottles of wine, started talking about doing like this kind of rock house music. So um, tell me this, because I, I was reading that you are one of the ten top, ten top DJs in the world. The one that everyone refers to is the um, DJ Top 100, and I was the number two female in the world. And number two? Yeah, in the whole Who world. Who's number one? I'm not telling you. No, <laughs> my very good friend Lisa Lashes. So how, how much time do you spend travelling around, um, do you think? We'll put it this way, there's always a bag with clothes in at the front door. Yeah. Well, the actual airport, you know, queuing for hours and, and sitting on the planes, like the rubbish bit, but I still love to travel. You know what it's like. Do you know one thing that does mark my head when you travel a lot? Our friend Alex P brought this to my attention. Yeah. He said to me, you know when you're picking up your luggage? Yeah. Right? That, that everyone crowds right close to the... Yeah. So they just keep behind the... It's like, why don't like... you just stand back four exactly. foot, and when it comes, you walk forward and you yes. get your luggage I know, up. I know, I know. But everyone crowds round, yeah. and no one can get to their luggage. It's pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> just get your trolley in. No, And that really winds me up now. I sit there, I feel like I walk up there, <laughs> just want to shout at everyone, so stand back. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> How am I looking? You're looking sexy, baby. <laughs> Very clever how there's no mirror to check, but yeah. <laughs> Is my hair still long? No, it's short now. <laughs> how does it feel? Does it feel feels, long? Well, I don't, it feels hairy. How's that? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's exactly like we said it was going to be. Exactly, which is going to be a winner for exactly. you. Exactly, I've heard that before. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh dear. There's no need to panic, Anne, because this, this is an evolution, babe, not a revolution. Oh. Uh. Don't look yet. <laughs> well, actually, I do love cutting people's hair right in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're not worried about, oh, God, look, she looks like she's scared. Well, they, well they'll panic. Okay, come look. 
This is that moment when they turn the mirror, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow! Yeah! Oh my God, I love it! Wow, that's cool, isn't it? Can you imagine me playing the bass now? Exactly. And if you have a little look, I mean... God, no, it's wicked! See, round here now, mm -hmm. you've got this whole short thing going on, right? Yeah. You see that? It's yeah. like another little haircut oh that's God, going on. I like it. But when you drop it, you still yeah. got the hair, but you haven't got oh my God, it's quite wicked. so much. And I did the same on this side as well. You notice you've got another little haircut going on yeah. underneath oh my there. God. But that's then amazing. that falls. So you still got all your hair, and now you haven't got. got that. No, it's just like you did in the mirror before. Exactly. It really is how you showed it. There you go. Thank you. Not a celebrity hairdress for nothing, you know? Yeah, I like it to do. I do. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh wow, those are wicked. It's wicked, it's absolutely. It's it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Well, you've got my lovely. number now. Right? Yes, I have. Coming up after the break, size does matter. That is three foot. Is it? 30 inches, yeah. That's not three foot. What's three foot? 36 inches. 36 foot. What? And life is Rosie for Lee. Pink, yeah. Bright pink. It's solid pink. It's just all I'm looking at is solid pink. Back at the salon, Builder Nigel has to get a very large mirror round the back of the salon and down a very narrow staircase. Bring it down the steps. As you can see, it's a little bit tight. Well, you want it to that size and uh, what we get. So far, so good. Yeah. No, 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 stop. Yeah, stop. So I'm going to back through. I'm going to go in there and back in there, yeah? While the struggle continues downstairs, a problem has arisen upstairs with the designer hairdressing chairs from Japan. He's, he's just said they won't arrive until the first. That's when the ship docks in. Why is that? You said they're arriving earlier than that. Yeah, you, the problem is you can't control. Uh, you know, the is boat there, sails is, is around. Is there any old chairs that you can lend us? Well, look, We're opening up a business on May the first. Yeah, well. What, what Lee's saying, which is a very valid point, is, you know, if, if, if there's any chairs that we can use, because we've got training the week before commencing, say, the 24th, what he's saying, he hasn't got anything. He, literally, they have to make them. Mm. So, 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 Martin, I, I know I'm, I'm putting you on the spot, but is there, is there any other solutions that you could recommend uh, with this dilemma that we have? If you, if you could, could you give me a call, say, within the next couple hours? Would that be all right, Martin? Give it some thought. If you could, please, that'd be fantastic. Thanks. Bye. So that's it. We, we said from day one that was going to be the problem, isn't it? Well, we can't let that stop us from opening. No, we, we won't. It if, won't if stop we, us. If we have to even use the chairs from the tapas bar next door. Downstairs, the glazers have made an unfortunate discovery. Did you say it's too big? Yeah. yeah what's wrong It's written on the wall somewhere. 65 three quarters. That's 66. That's 66 and a half. There's nobody here, is it? Nothing. You got a glass car? Yeah, cut it down. Well, so, the understanding yeah. is that if it goes, it's at your risk. If it runs, it's at your risk. Okay, then I'll bet you better take it back to your factory. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it richly. <laughs> well, there you go. Thanks. So we should have looked at the sticker before we come downstairs. Okay, let's. Back upstairs and. Inside, Steve attempts to convey his plans for the music system. Now, if we do left, 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 right, 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 we're going to get a, uh, a certain sound this side and a certain sound that side. So just to throw in balance, if we change the middle one to right, left, we're going to get a nice even balance because the middle of the shop, what we're missing there, we would brought over there, and what we're missing there, we brought over there. Right, yeah. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Left, right, left, yeah. right, left, right. Like an army. <laughs> Where's the speakers, mate? That's what. Uh... They're coming Tuesday. Oh, they're coming Tuesday. Yeah, because what we're doing is having uh, the, the left channel, right channel, left channel, right channel, left channel, right channel, so you get a complete sort of that of sound. Lee is passionate about his salon toilets and wants to make sure this one is absolutely right. <laughs> 
Right then, centre, where's centre, Nige? Is that the height you want it? Yeah, about there's fine. Yeah, right, okay. Right. right don't yeah. let go of it, Lee. Because I've got no. to stick the same button, it just falls straight off of there. You like that? Fantastic. You like that anyway? That's enough for me, yeah. Well, I had to, for some reason, I had this idea right at the beginning this big toilet, tiny mirror. Come on, mate. This was the uh, light that was outside our office in um, Leon C upstairs. It was a bit wasted. I always loved that light, but it never had any lampshades on it. And it kind of looked good with lamp sh without the lampshades, but it needed lampshades for this room. So we've had these specially made. Look at it. And uh, these are all going to sit right on it like that. And they look the absolute nuts, don't they? Again, we've got that yin and yang. We've got that old feeling, but that bright pink just kind of old and new. Wicked. Love it. The mirror has been successfully recut and is finally ready for installation. I think Lee better get out. Yeah. Ready? Go. Come on the chandelier, chandelier. You've got to get a man stuck on the wall. Just have a slide across the long wall here. Well done, guys. Nigel has installed what he believes to be the completed light fitting for the toilet. Lee, can you just agree the height, mate? Is it how far does it come down from there? Because you've got all the bits that hang off it, haven't you? Well, you've got the little bulbs, that's all. Is that it? Yeah, it's a bulb. Sure. Yeah, that's it, mate. Okay, so I've got yeah. like that's perfect then. Yeah, it's got bolts, it's got things that hang off it as well. No, though. no, 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 no there, there's, there's thingies that hang off it, there's nothing, crystals. No, nothing else. No, no, believe me, there is. There's loads of crystals. That's, it's not just like that. Is that. That wouldn't be a chandelier, would it? The bulbs on the end there. Have we seen got, it? Of course I've seen it. There's loads of crystals, loads of coloured crystals that all hang off me. That's why it's a shit. That's why it looks like a beautiful chandelier. But, Weren't just a chrome S with. Bare bulbs hanging off in nice. But I ain't seen a picture. And of you it. liked it. I was saying, do you like the chandelier? It's lovely. I like that. That'll do. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's nice. That's, that's, that's like the bare bones, mate. That's like the bare bones. Okay, mate. I can't believe that you thought it was seriously just like that. And you liked it. Minimalistic. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. For the future. A little drawing or, or a... Oh, I'd love to draw them for you. There's a, a big box full of gear, mate. And what have we got to draw them for? Just because you lot took them out and put them somewhere else. Oh, right. What do these do? Well, you have to hang them oh, yeah. over yeah, there. Over there? Yeah. Oh, that's what them notches are for. Yeah. What do you want, like that or like that? Well, I don't know. Just put them all on and have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here, look, see, so you've got, like, you've got all different kind of ones. Greens and yeah, blues that, and... and I can't believe you thought it was a bare chrome S with yeah. bare bulbs hanging on. Oh, it looks minimalist to me. Yeah. You'd have paid a grand for that, would you? Well, I would have, but I didn't know how much it cost. The Drapes team arrive and get to work. If, uh, anyone else here on the sweet steak now? And Lee decides to have an impromptu auction with some of the builders for a coffee table he's just bought online. How much to take it off eBay? Uh, sweet steak, five grand who wants to be in. 350. Whoever bids closest to the price Lee paid for the table wins the kitty. 110. 110 pounds. 230. 230, Steve. 1500 quid. Now you've got to remember, we had a budget for a thousand pound for tables, right? All of them. All of them. And I did spend 860 pound on the modern one. Remember, the nearest to the bid gets the lot. Ready? Good. That table yeah. is 83 quid. Daniel, yeah, it's your yeah, who, who wins it? Daniel, is it 85 quid? Did he? Yes. Daniel. Oh, 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 and although Lee has found a bargain, it seems there's a problem. It's big enough for us. What is the actual measurement? Yeah. It's 30 inches in length. More coffee time. I thought you said it was three foot. That is three foot. Is it? 30 inches, yeah. That's not three foot. No, What's three foot? 36 foot. <laughs> That, that's 30 inches. Well, it's a bit small, isn't it? It's yeah. too small. I mean, it's too small. That's not a try, isn't it? It is like a try, isn't it? It's a try, we like it. I've got in that jean back, I tell you it's no good. Looks like I'm destined to go to Paris this weekend. I might be the love of my life then, mate. Jean, 
You're gonna hate me. And from one call to the next. Mark. Hello, mate. We've got this sign in front of us, yeah? yeah. It's solid pink. Where the one in Soho, correct me if I'm wrong, is just pink around the edges of the letters. It's pink, yeah. It's bright pink. It's solid pink. It's just, all I'm looking at is solid pink. It's like the O, it's just, it's pink, everything's pink. Okay, mate. It's fish oil. He's saying that he reckons this peels off. Yeah. Why is it on there in the first place? Wow. Wow. Oh, Oi, Lee, go and check this out. Good water. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic. Girls, you've done us proud, girls. It out you've done us proud. It looks amazing. Well done. Absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? And now for Lee's proudest moment on the design front. <laughs> That's what you call the dog's bollocks, for you. Turn it on. Look how they sparkle. Sparkle like one of your hair cuts, mate. Great, isn't it? It's all coming together this toilet, mate, isn't it? Hey, sit down there, Steve. How does it feel? Feels good. I was right, wasn't I? At the old modern chair there. I doubted you about this toilet, Lee. I really did, but it really works. Right, isn't it? It just has a real huge feel. It's as if the walls are going outwards as you sit down, doesn't it? It's lovely, this space. Absolutely wonderland. You needed to get that space to make it work, mate. If you didn't have this space, it just... It wouldn't, wouldn't have worked. Now, that is a chandelier in a dream, isn't it? I like them feeling static because, um, there's always a risk when you're designing somewhere. I felt the same in Soho, and you're pushing the boat out, and you're trying to do something new, and you're trying to do something a little bit revolutionary. Um, there's always a risk it's not gonna work, you know? And Carlo and Steve had, had given me their total faith, you know what I mean? They said, Lee, the design's yours. They didn't really get involved, they had faith in me, and we've spent 200 grand, but at the moment it's 230 grand, do you know what I mean? So um, there was a lot resting on my shoulders, and just last week I started having a bit of a panic up thinking, I don't know if this is going to work, you know, and, um, and today has just been such a relief. So, as my hip hop mate Peanut would say, it's been a rude day. Coming up in the next episode, Lee Styles Rolling Stones Ronnie Wood's daughter Leah yeah, pre gig. Sexy, wasn't it? it was a sexy vulnerability. Oh, Lee. <laughs> oh, Lee. <laughs> 24 hours before the salon officially opens, Lee's dad Bernie pays a visit. I've seen three shops, third shop I've seen being done. This is the kid, isn't it? Jewelling their crowns. Jewelling your crown, yeah. And the pressure is getting to everyone. Hey, it doesn't matter to me, anyway. Joker. I'm, I'm serious, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Coming up in this episode, Lee Styles Rolling Stones Ronnie Wood's daughter Leah pre gig. Yeah, it was a sexy vulnerability. Oh, Lee. <laughs> oh, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours before the salon officially opens, Lee's dad Bernie pays a visit. I've seen three shops, third shop I've seen being done. This is the kitty, isn't it? It's the jewel in their crown. The jewel in your crown, yeah. And the pressure is getting to everyone. <laughs> Joker. I'm serious, mate. It's the In 
a London hotel, Leah Wood, daughter of Rolling Stone Ronnie Wood, is waiting for Lee to do her hair. Leah has her own band, which is playing in London tonight, and she needs Lee to create a special look for her. Yeah, then one side. Good, good. Double. Yeah, you too. You're all right. All right. You're your voice coach going to four o'clock, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So what are you going to do with your body then, Leah? I'm really having my heart set on it being I think so. I curly. think so, yeah. So where's this gig tonight then, Leah? Where is that? King's Cross. I did my sound check already. Yeah. And then I, just as I was leaving to come here, I saw Rachel Stevens doing her bit on stage. Well, she's she there tonight as well. Yeah, and Khalees. Yeah. I was hoping that I could have uh, done this around the house, right, as you know, because mm. your mum gave you the guided tour last time. Yeah. And you mum showed me the recording studio as well in there. Oh, we call that the Bat Cave. Yeah, that's great. Did you ever get a chance to go a go in there? Oh, yeah. Actually, one one early night, early morning, me, Dad, and uh, Jeff Beck, they were all jamming, and I was like, right, I've, let me get up and sing something. <laughs> so I got up and I I sang Son of a Preacher Man really badly. And uh, that was it, really. That was my first and last ever jam yeah, with my dad. Modest there, there. Do you think you was, you was natural, a natural voice and everything? I always loved to sing when I was little. Yeah. I always used to kind of like play my favorite like tune, whether it be Whitney Houston or En Vogue. Play it all back and sing along to it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I saw you on stage that night, you um. You definitely had a, well, how did I describe you the next day to people? I was saying oh God, what did you say? <laughs> Lily, what did you say? It was she kind of, was absolutely tired. No, not at all. You had the shine. You definitely looked, what's the word? Scared? You, weren't sh no, no, you didn't look scared. You had a vulnerability, but you was, um, you was down, girl. You was, uh, it it's was rocky. sexy, wasn't it? It was a sexy vulnerability. Oh, Lee. <laughs> oh, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> did your dad get involved at all or did you leave him right? Did you ever play it to my own? So what do you think, Dad? Yeah, when it's yeah. finished. When it's more or less finished and we have like the finished product. You've got it really, haven't you? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I wouldn't leave him out. Do you think that's made you more grounded, Leah, because of your mum and dad, though? My mum's seen it all. She's been there. She's been married to a Rolling Stone for God's sake, you know. Right? <laughs> handle being married to a Rolling Stone. I really oh, no. couldn't love my dad. Mm -hmm. But he's just hard work. <laughs> You know what it is, though? What I, what I found mad about you guys, right? There's no airs and graces. There's no prima donna Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just it blew me away, to be quite honest with you. Absolutely Aww. blew me no, it did, honestly. I'm just being honest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely blew me away. Your mum, I love her. You're not her. too bad yourself, Lee. <laughs> no, your mum, I love her. She's absolutely yeah. great, you know what I mean? She's an Essex girl, too. She's come from Spinfleet, doesn't it? Where I come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. And he's going, and it's Lee Stafford and Lee, and, and, and he's coming up to uh, the last bush. Oh, and, wow. he's no. and he's over there. <laughs> oh, ow, ow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so I've got to rush and be gentle. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this so you can crack on, wow. have your makeup done, let it all settle. While Lear is being made up, Lee gives the other band members a haircut. I love the boots. They're quite cool, no? Yeah, wicked. Are we taking the boots? I love them. Taking Looks the great. You look hot. Excellent. Hot, baby. Thanks, baby. Right. <laughs> The next day in Brighton, Lee's salon is only 24 hours away from the official opening. All the fittings are in place, but the designer hairdressing chairs from Japan haven't arrived in time. So Lee goes to a nearby restaurant to try and borrow some chairs. Yeah, you can borrow them if you need. Yeah, you don't mind? No, not at all. That's all right. Top man. Do you right. haircuts on the house for you, sir? Lovely, Charlie. You left the right handed. Right. So would you do that? Would you do that? At the salon, the newly recruited team, who were found through a radical recruitment drive, Crop Idol, are back. 
They have been undergoing intensive training with manager Steve Turner. It's been such a while and now it's like finally coming to the day where it's going to actually be opening and that. I'm very excited for tomorrow because it's a big day. We've all been working hard. A bit nervous. A little bit nervous, really, because it's, um, it's a high standard that we work for now, so to keep that up. I mean, I'm scared, very scared, but now it's going to be really good. I think everyone's just, just ready for the final push before, before the big day, really. We're all feeling sort of like we just want to get in now and start, really. And hope Salon's going to be ready in time. Well, I think, as you can see, it's a complete and utter nightmare now. I mean, we were doing quite well, we were doing very, very well, and all of a sudden, uh, Steve and his team and Lee, they decided to uh, have a week of training by the looks of it. And it's just self things up. You've got hair all over the place, you've got blokes trying to finish painting, you've got gear coming in, you've got the doors going all wrong. Everything's, everything's happening now and it's really becoming a bit serious, you know? The whole thesis and basis of our success is education. It's all broken down into months, months, test, months, test, months, test. And if you fail three tests, you're out the door because you're not really into it. Training is everything. It makes the weak strong and the strong fantastic. If these ain't the same, beat yourself about the face. Steve, it would be so easy if these people weren't here. Steve, honest mate. It's all right, people. How's it feel? Nigel has also got the front of the salon building to worry about. We've got to get that out all today and back in.